Hello guys, welcome back to Learn to Trade YouTube channel. So uh, New Zealand dollar, US dollar today, um, a current uh, sideways movement, and after escaping from this uh, from this minor pattern, um, a breakout, a very breakout from this minor pattern could bring us new opportunities. Here is the disclaimer. Please read it. And if you have questions, uh, please send an email to support. Okay. Please read the disclaimer. So uh, nothing really, really important today, as I said also in my uh, market breakdown uh, video. But tomorrow the fundamentals um, should uh, should move the the markets, um, the um, the flash uh, services PMI, flash manufacturing uh, PMI, the economic data could um, could really shake the markets. Okay, so let's take a look and let's start with four hour maybe. Four hour. Okay, uh, a strong rally. It's failure to to make a new higher high, sell off, and um, here uh, after this uh, massive drop and uh, strong sell off, a rebound. But in the short term, if we'll take a look on, uh, for example, on 30 minutes, it has reached this zone, guys, this zone sideways movement and then a strong imbalance, maybe. Um, after this massive sell off, sideways movement, uh, maybe a downside continuation pattern before extending its sell off. So right now it has reached this zone and um, it moves sideways again. And technically, guys, technically, after uh, what happened here, um, rally, a retreat, maybe the, the upside pressure remains high. Okay, the upside pressure remains high, but uh, it remains to see how it will react. Okay, also here around the, because the price dropped a little, maybe to test retest the, the, the former the former highs, um, former uh, resistance levels, and, uh, and, the, and the, the current sideways movement could represent an upside continuation pattern. But let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. Be, because um, this could represent an upside continuation pattern, but we also have uh, here, guys, um, this zone, this area. Okay, maybe only, uh, for example, only false uh, false breakout, guys. False breakout is great separation through 0 0.6299 sideways movement, and uh, only because uh, um, earlier today, let's take a look. I've talked about the dollar index, and the dollar index uh, rallied. Um, it came back uh, above the, the, the medium line uh, of descending pitchfork, a new higher high and stabilizing here, testing, retesting, could signal potential for the growth and an upside continuation here to force the US dollar to appreciate versus his rivals. Okay, and this scenario, if this scenario will take shape, then uh, probably also New Zealand dollar, US dollar could make a new lower low and uh, could, um, could come back. Uh, towards maybe this uh, the the former the former level towards this uh, um, buying zone okay and um, demand zone and in the short term personally I've decided to draw a descending pitchfork upper medium line as a dynamic resistance and the person I would like to see something like this here maybe test retest false breakouts false breakouts great separation before trying to go down okay because moving sideways here and staying above the former uh, former lows a sideways movement followed by a very breakout a new higher high could signal potential for their growth so as I've said um, this sideways movement and uh, in my opinion maybe making a new higher high is keeping from this range guys is keeping from this range Escaping from this range could bring us maybe new opportunities. Okay, as I've said, sideways movement, very breakout or a new higher high could signal potential growth, further growth. But as long as it stays below the upper medium line, and I would like to see test retest false breakouts followed by a new lower low could activate a potential downside movement. This is my opinion here about the New Zealand dollar US dollar in the short term but don't forget that tomorrow the fundamentals will uh, move the markets uh, don't forget to read the disclaimer and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel bye bye